Hey everybody, it's Mira. How are you? So, it's the 1st of September and we have a new challenge for our members in the Paperclip Art Group on Facebook. Um, we're calling it Binders Keepers. Um, and we are referring to these binder clips or otherwise known as bulldog clips. And basically what we thought um, is let's try and make altered um, binder clips. So some kind of pretty art. So um, you've got three sizes. Uh, well, I could get my hands on three sizes. And um, I decided to work on the largest size. Obviously that that is... Um, easier to work with because it's more surface area. Um, so let me show you what I've done. Um, now, obviously the easiest thing you could do is um, just um, add uh, your washi tape to it. So find a pretty washi tape, add it on, and you're done. Um, I, I did gesso the surface just to make it more um, easier to add whatever you're adding to take the glue and the paper um, and uh, I did just so up here as well but don't forget that anything that you rub on um, it will come off so I found uh, yeah I, I you know I it's fine but it's not my favorite but that's kind of first stage what you can do um, and I did do that again with this one here this little tiny one um, I just chose a pretty gold foil uh, washi tape that I had there. So that's number two. Now moving on to the next one. Um, let's show you this one. So this one is my butterfly one. So basically what I did was I got my six by six pad and I just used, you know, some, one of the pages has banners. So you can see here I used a couple of banners um, as the um, kind of background there. And then I had, I have this 3D vellum butterfly that I used on either side, put a couple of bling in the middle for the body, and then I wrapped washi tape um, around these clips here. Is it functional? Yes, it is. So basically you do that, lay down those butterflies, and then you just use it like that. And then when you're ready, you put it back up. So that's one of them here. Let's just pull these back up. We'll put that one there. Um, second one I want to show you is this one. Um, as you guys know, I love cats, so this is just a cute um, sticker uh, that's 3D on foam. Um, and then on the other side, um, just cute sticker and some of the tiny words uh, phrases um, by Tim Holtz. So that mine goes there. Um, the next one that I want to show you is this one. Um, so for, for the handles here, I just um, wrapped ribbon around. Um, this is a cute button that I had, little girl. Uh, and I just layered the background there, bling. Um, epoxy stickers there. And then on the back, little um, I guess a flare and more bling and more flowers so that's a cute one there um, the next one I want to show you is this one um, I, I found it um, a lot of fun actually doing these I just went through um, the collection of different things that I have and um, yeah so back here so I've got um, just a background paper, then I put some lace, then I put a washi tape. This is a, um, I'm going to call it paper clay uh, pushed into a, a mold by Stampin' Up. And then I just painted it um, Ladybug, Stay Curious. And then on the other side, like I said, I just went through and grabbed whatever little pieces I have. This is more of that paper clay pushed into the mold ribbon flower and a peg um so that one let's put that one there He's long. Um, next one is this one um i like this one this is one of my favorites um julie nutting um little 
um, wood embellishment girl um, and this is just a 3d sticker um, my background paper is this pretty flower one I just put strips of washi tape there with my sentiment and then on the other side more of those 3d pretty um, pretty stickers like I said here you know as I was working on it more of that just so um, just lift it off so I mean it could be shabby chic if you want not my favorite but you know it's fine it um you're not looking at that as much you're looking at this now is this one functional I don't know if I've checked so afraid oh I think it is oh I think it is Wee. <laughs> thank gosh for that all right so that one works um my next one is this one, so cute, um, quite bulky actually, so this is twine wrapped around um, with a little bunny and um, pretty ribbon. My uh, paper, my background paper is a camera paper and then I put on a wooden camera there and then on the other side more camera and more cute little resin um, sweets. So that one goes there, and my my most favorite one, which I'm keeping the best for last, is this one. So I made this um, as a beach theme. Um, I use I used like a wood grain paper there. I used hessian along the border. Um, this is just um, pop outs from the six by six pad. This is a Kaiser craft one actually. Um, this is from the embellishment pack, like an anchor. I used twine to wrap the handles around and then on the other side just a really plain one um, I should probably add I'd love to add like a like a metal charm here I think that that's missing a metal charm I'll have to go through uh, more of my stash to look for an appropriate metal I think maybe a seahorse Ooh, I'll have to look out for a seahorse I don't think I have one but I think a seahorse there would be perfect so, and is this one functional? Yes, it is. Oh, awesome. So, um, so yeah, that's my, um, my contribution to Binders Keepers. We're all, uh, each of us admin will be uh, making a few and, um, showing you what we've made and, uh, hoping that some of our members or all of our members um, are interested in um, playing along with our challenge for September. Uh, we have been making paperclip art and we're always getting new members and always seeing the most amazing um, ideas. It's really great. And so if you haven't joined our group, we'd love to have you. I'll put the links below. And before I go, I'd like to show you what my um, September paperclip art is for 2016. So um, as our as we released earlier, um, every month we're making uh, paperclips so that by the end of 2016 we've got 12 paperclips of 2016. So this is my um, September paperclip for 2016. Of course it's going to have a binder clip on there. And um, I have been playing with uh, watercolor art recently and I've been trying to paint flowers so this is very apt for me and the sentiment's also really apt for me which is remember to play. Um, so thank you so much for joining me everybody and we hope you join us and we hope you try um, some binder clip art and uh, yeah just remember to play. See you later.